Good morning and greetings to one and all who is listening to this lecture. Right now, we are going to talk about primary care in maxillofacial trauma. I am not talking about the mandibular fractures or a mid-face fracture. I am going to talk about the primary care, which is true for almost any trauma. So, if you happen to be one of the first physician or a surgeon who is going to see a trauma victim, you know what we do. That is the primary care of any trauma. However, we being maxillofacial surgeons or dentists, we would like to be concentrating on the primary care of a maxillofacial trauma with a facial trauma individual. Now, before we start about a primary care, you should know how did this trauma occur. The trauma can happen more often than not. It is an accident or a road traffic accident. We talk about RTA. RTA is the commonest etiology when we come across a trauma victim in this part of the world. I talk about the developing countries, i.e. India, many of the other countries which are in the developing group. Now, when we have a trauma victim, it is not good enough to just think about an RTA as a simple thing because a cyclist going and hitting against a pedestrian is a road traffic accident. A lorry coming and hitting against a two-wheeler is again an accident. We talk about two high-speed cars coming and head-on banging against each other again is an RTA. Now, they are all coming within the same bracket of a road traffic accident. However, the etiology will define the seriousness of the injury. So, there is no good for us to just say that this is a road traffic accident victim. You would like to know what is the mechanism of injury because that will make a lot of difference to see what you have to look for in that victim, whether we are talking about a low velocity injury or a high velocity injury. Whenever we talk about a high velocity injury, you can think the seriousness of, seriousness of the injury is likely to be much higher. Right. The second common cause for any form of a trauma in the maxillofacial or the orofacial region is an interpersonal violence or an assault. Now, I am not saying assault is not common in this part of the world. However, if you go to the so-called developed countries, their legislation is much higher in the road traffic accident part of it. So, the road traffic accident are relatively lesser there. However, the interpersonal violence, particularly alcohol related or drug related could be much higher. Saying that again, assault comes in various forms. Particularly, you should have your eyes and ears open when you are assessing a trauma victim. Now, assault could be, as we rightly pointed out, an interpersonal violence. It could be because of a personal enmity, it could be drug related, it could be money related, it could be land related, it could be any of it. However, you can have unrelated victims as well. But what we need to be taking care also is there could be a victim who is part of and like what he said, domestic violence. The domestic violence, not necessarily, it's always directed towards a female gender. It can be other way also. So, domestic violence is one of the possibilities. But when you have an assault victim being a child, you have to always think about the other option, what we call as a NAI or a non-accidental injuries or child abuse. Mm -hmm.